are in the midst of the amazing Los Angeles Zoo, which is in Griffith Park. Uh, okay, but it doesn't look like the zoo that I remember from daytime. Why is that? Well, we have brought out all the lights for this season. We are celebrating the holidays with animals aglow, and it's a wonderful display of silk lantern sculptures, and they're all animal themed. The natural wonders that populate the Los Angeles Zoo come alive at night in the glowing display of blazing colors. The seasonal attraction draws visitors to this nighttime event like moths to a flame, as the dazzling colors and whimsical shapes recreate many of the zoo's current residents with bright splashes of light and motion. This is kind of a different type of attraction than just coming to see uh, animals. They're coming to see something else. Right. There's no animals out tonight other than the brightly lit ones, and that's why we call it Zoo Lights, Animals Aglow. So we are the only brightly lit animals around. <laughs> that's right, we are. Uh, I see a giraffe uh, over there and it uh, looks like a condor, is that right? Yeah, so we really focused on some of our endangered species that we've helped save from extinction, like the California condor, which in the 80s there were only 22 left in the wild. And at that time they were brought in to our zoo and some other partners to breed. And now there's over 500 flying out in the wild and in our partner zoos. And what are some of the other animals? Right, we have the mountain yellow-legged frog. Many people might not know about this little amphibian, but he lives in the San Gabriel Mountains in small streams. And when there's a fire or a flood, that can devastate their entire habitat. So we have an insurance population here that we're breeding tadpoles that eventually get re-released out into those natural streams. So that happens right here at the zoo? Yeah. Any other animals you'd like to favor uh, today? <laughs> well, the last one I'd like to talk about is the peninsular pronghorn. Again, an animal that maybe people don't think about. We have North American pronghorn, you know, up in, um, you know, Wyoming. And I'm sorry, did you say pronghorns? Pronghorn. Pronghorns. Okay. What, do, what do they look like? They're a kind of antelope. So we work with the Mexican government and a conservation organization in Baja to help um, repopulate those animals. Again, there's maybe only 400 left. Um, and one of the neat things about this particular subspecies, until recently it wasn't recognized as a separate species, so it wasn't considered endangered. But we worked very hard, um, our conservation director, to get it recognized, and now it's considered an endangered animal. So. Now, as we walk around tonight, uh, what are some of the sites we'll be seeing? Well, there are some very cool things. Besides the animals, there are also some opportunities for people to interact with the light displays. There's some swings, there's selfie spots, there's a kaleidoscope cave, and of course, our ever-present and ever-popular Twinkle Tunnel. <laughs> really? Yeah, can't wait to show it to you. Well, this is very seasonal, isn't it? Yeah, it's a wonderful time of year when families want to celebrate together, but we decided this year to focus on our mission and really highlight the beautiful animals that we take care of every day who are asleep right now, but people can come and see these lantern sculptures and enjoy the beauty of a cool LA evening. Put on your scarves, people, because it's cool.
we call these light sculptures anyway? That's right, we call them lanterns. They're lit from inside, they're made from a fabric material that's hand painted and stretched on a steel frame. And so they're commonly called lanterns, but we like to refer to them as animal sculptures. Animal sculptures or lanterns, either and, way. Yes, and they're all lit up, so I guess they are lanterns. <laughs> <laughs> After all. Yeah. Well, where do these lanterns come from? Uh, who made them? Yeah, we partner with this amazing company. It's called Tian Yu. They hand paint, design, and build the sculptures and even come and install them for us. And they've been wonderful partners. Among the many illuminating attractions at this display is the selfie station, where Instagram fanatics can snap pictures of themselves, surrounded by some of the zoo's beastly inhabitants. Most holiday-themed lighting displays contain a tunnel that visitors can walk through, and the Twinkle Tunnel is no exception. And while visitors immerse themselves inside the shimmering spectacle of the Kaleidoscope Cave, Others can be seen posing for pictures under a pair of giant swans, their crane necks forming a heart-shaped backdrop for the evening's best picture spot. Yes, well we started doing zoo lights here in 2014 and it originally started out as really a holiday Christmas Hanukkah themed light display with some pretty cool special effects. Um, and over the years we've changed it up and this year we've done something completely different. It's 100% animals. It's so spectacular. It's the most bright and, and like alive I think that it's ever been. Colorful comes to my mind. I mean, without glasses on, I just see a massive color. <laughs> yeah, I think there's every color of the rainbow here, just like there is in nature. And that's really our objective this year is to, you know, showcase our mission, which is to help save endangered species and to provide a wonderful destination for our community, the, the families and people of Los Angeles. So how long will this display be here? Yes, we'll be open through January 22nd. We're closed most Mondays and Tuesdays, but towards the end of December, we're open every night. And in January, we're gonna kind of jazz things up and add some entertainment to celebrate the Lunar New Year. Oh, Happy New Year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I would be remiss if I didn't mention hot chocolate and churros, which are the heartwarming and belly warming treats that we have available here, as well as some adult libations. So come hungry and enjoy some treats and really celebrate the time of year that we have to spend together. And these beautiful surroundings. Absolutely. There's nothing more beautiful than this outdoor space filled with trees, lanterns, and happy people. To experience this twinkling menagerie of blazing butterflies, colorful condors, and technicolor toads, don't miss LA Zoo Lights, animals aglow, currently lighting up the nighttime skies of the Los Angeles Zoo until January 22nd. <laughs>